This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to yet another review from your old pal Rob. What are we talking about today? Well, something I've been waiting for to come in and was kind of shocked that it came out. As you know, I've given Manic quite the hard time, but I've also praised the heck out of him with a lot of their stuff that they've come out with. Today, we are taking a look at Dungeon Saga, The Eye of the Abyss. Is it worth it? Well, there's only one way to find out. The first thing that I noticed right off was it's in a box. It's not in the book form. I was looking forward to another expansion that I can plug right in. I really love those little box things uh, that they did. Now, this you cannot play unless you have, of course, Dwarf King Quest core uh, game and the Infernal Crypts expansion because some of this ties in. Now what this does is it also ties in with Kings of War. So I wanted to show you some of the things here because actually I don't know if they're doing away with the box sets and they just expect you to add things to the, bo the, the book cover box because there's actually enough in here that would cover it. Now of course you get one of the you know a, a great book illustrated very very well and on the back they're showing me something that I really want and yes that's Star Saga but we'll talk about that another time um, there are a bunch of adventures that are added to this yes you are going to get a ton of adventures and that's what I love the most about this there is just so much going on in this and there are just tons and tons and tons of scenarios in this book that really make a huge difference. I really love this quest book. The real heart of the matter, of course, is the the miniatures that we have, oh, we've butchered in the past. But I have to tell you, they've used a different type of plastic here, and these are looking fantastic. I love the bases. I love these miniatures. They are looking really, really good. <laughs> I'm leaving that in there, by the way. But um, none of the 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 the, sulk, the the rubbery parts or or bendable parts. It seems to be a different type of plastic that they're using, and the bosses look fantastic in here. Uh, we have more demons that are added into it. And these are good, solid miniatures. I, 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 I can't stress enough that they finally got it right. And we've got a bunch of heroes. Now, these heroes can be used in the Kings of War. And uh, they are, these are just beautiful, plain and simple. There's not a lot to put together. Uh, you just got to glue some of these guys to the bases. And, of course, we have the demoness. She looks really cool. And a couple other heroes, like my man here. He looks good. And I'm looking forward to painting these up and adding this to what is already a very, very good game. Now, also in here, we have some really cool things that they have added in. They've added in some more items. You can't have enough items. And they... We have like succubus head. So once you cut off her head, well, guess what? You can. This is a unique, unique item. Uh, let's see. Lash of a thousand agonies. It's not bad to have. Flask of fading souls. Beautiful cards. You add it to everything else, and you've got a monster game with tons and tons of replayability. Uh, some of the people that you can use, of course is uh, a Clutch Warden, which he looks really cool. Um, boy, th these are really, really cool dudes. We have a Demon Hunter, and he looks really cool. And another Necromancer. Nothing wrong with that, bro. The Abysmal Succubus Temptress. And boy, she's got some really nasty, nasty powers associated with her so she is just 
She's filthy, to be honest with you. So, all in all, I'm happy with this expansion. It adds just more, tons more to this game. This is a great game to begin with, and just having more added to it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this box and I'm just going to add it to my probably my my in, uh, my inferno box, and uh, and that way I can keep those box shelves nice and neat with those bookshelves because those bookshelves really look cool over there. What am I going to grade this? I'm going to give this a four out of five. Um, the miniatures are top of the line. They're doing a great job with it. I love all the adventures that they put in here, adding more, and it got me pumped up to play this game yet again. So, Manic, you're doing a great job with this. Uh, I think you, you've gone through the bumps in the road. I would love to see a big box expansion coming, and I hope you don't give up on this game. This is a great one. So there you have it, Dungeon Saga, Eye of the Abyss. I want a book. Give me the book. How can you go wrong with this? You can't. And just a very beautiful game. So there you have it. Until next time, I'm Rob Warren, and we'll see you soon.